guys and welcome to today's Dead Star TV. On the hot seat we have Joe Bateman. Hi guys. Um, so basically, um, what brought, brought you into singing? Um, basically when I started writing songs two or three years ago, for, well I mean I've always written songs a little bit growing up, uh, but yeah since two or three years ago that's when I started properly like, you know, really honing in on my craft. Uh, so I didn't really want someone else singing for me. I yep. wanted to sing my own songs, uh, so that's when I started singing mm -hmm. and trying to really just, you know, I mean, I'm, all, you know, an artist is always trying to find themselves and uh, keep progressing with that, but um, I think I'm I'm getting there to where I could say that, you know, my voice is now Joe Bateman, it's my, it's my yeah, yeah. voice. So, so um, we were having a little chat earlier and um, basically you were saying that obviously you played instruments for a while mm -hmm. and that is only when you started writing your own music that's what, when you become sort of more into the singing side of things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I've been playing uh, different instruments. I started with guitar when I was 10. Um, I'm 21 now, so uh, yeah, I've always dabbled with lots of different instruments, and that's kind of where I would say that my, uh, my main strength uh, lies in playing different instruments. But as far as singing, I would say that I actually probably enjoy singing the most, even though that's not, you know, um, the thing I'm best at yet. Um, but but yeah, so two or, th two or three years really, I've really uh, been working a bit more on the voice, yeah. All right, brilliant. Um, so and like, I guess a lot of um, soul singers have done it that way, haven't they? Where they sort of start playing their instruments first. And it's easier if you've got your own voice, it's like, easier to sort of just sit there and dabble and sort of play with a few songs using yeah, your exactly. own voice rather, rather than... Right, right. Yeah, I mean, and especially because, you know, you, you write an artist when you write uh, your song. Um, it's very, it's very personal, really. The song that you write is very personal to you. You don't, you don't want someone else to sing it for you, really, because they haven't, um, you know, experienced uh, what, what you're singing about. So, it, it, you know, if it's from a personal experience or even whatever kind of zone you were in when you were writing, you know, you're in that moment. So, for someone else to then take that song and try and, uh, and attempt to sing that, um, to, to me, that's just, uh, you know, it's. It wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be right. That's why I need to do it yeah, myself. I need to sing my own songs. Yeah, the definitely. Ocean. Yeah, I understand that. Um, I'm sure most of you at home would probably understand that as well. So, um, what would you class your style of music? Um, like any artist, it's always progressing. Um, but I guess I would come across probably as that classic kind of acoustic singer-songwriter feel at the moment. Anyway, yeah, yeah. I love me a bit of blues in there as well kind of a folk blues style kind of incorporated into that but um yeah, but but yeah always always progressing right now uh well you'll have to hear yeah. and, um, obviously we'll catch up with you that a bit later um yeah. what inspires your music and your singing style is there any sort of inspirations growing up or just stuff modern what day that inspires um i don't really know i don't i don't, I don't know about ins uh, you know inspiration is a pretty strong word to use. Um, what kind of um, what inspires me? Well, just, just the love of music, to be honest. When I play it, what I like about music is that um, it kind of, it bypasses that, that part of the brain that is kind of the logical side, isn't it? Uh, and, and, and you just kind of go along with it. You become one with the music. You don't rationalise, you don't think about it. it it's just, um, it's it's kind of a place of peace, so... So it's more, rather than inspiration, it's more of you, maybe, is it like an escape for you, so sort of, yeah... I definitely was when I was younger. It was a, definitely an escape when I was younger, yeah, for sure. Um, now it's kind of, I would say it's evolved into being more so... Um, well, it's, it's, it's my go-to, but it's, it, it, it's, uh, it's just where I feel complete at the moment, really. You know, it's where mm -hmm. I can express who I am. Uh, I haven't, there's, there's nothing else, uh, you know, for some people they express themselves through sport and different activities, don't they? For me it's music, at the end of the day, that's how I, it's how I vent, it's how I, um, you know, I show the world who I am. Yeah, know? definitely, yeah. I, I think um, most people can relate to that. Um, what's your biggest achievement today so far? Um, well, I, uh, I produced a five track EP just over uh, a year ago, I just did it in, I just did five songs in five days, so a track a day. Um, and then I uploaded that to BBC Introduced in West Yorkshire. So um, four out of those tracks were played, which you know, you know, so it's great. Um, and then I had a couple more uh, played on there when I released a couple more things later on in the year as well. Um, 
right now I'm not focusing as much on producing and releasing, so I, I'm not focusing on the radio side. I'm focusing more on uh, wanting to craft my, uh, hone in on my skill of live performance kind of thing. So, yeah. so kind of the gigging areas where I'm going into now, yeah. So uh, what's the most, what's the best thing you enjoy about being a singer? Just like I was saying before, basically, as far as you get to express yourself, it's the, it's the one instrument, you know, your voice is the one instrument that's unique to you. Mm. Everyone's voice, even if someone has a similar voice to another, mm. your voice is totally unique, it's, it's different, and um, it, it really is you, it, it, it kind of encompasses the entirety of you. Uh, you get to express yourself through it, you get to sing whatever the heck you want, and no one's going to judge you for it, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which is which is nice in everyday conversation. If you were to say the same words, then uh, you, you know people would think you're a bit odd, a bit off. Yeah, uh, yeah. But you can sing anything you want, and that's what I like about. Yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a good thing about you know. I'm sure if we tune into radio stuff, there's so many songs about so many different things. Yeah, you know, yeah. Some things you don't stuff. exactly, and yeah. some things you relate to, some you don't. You know, and uh, yeah. some music you just sit there and think what. The heck have I just listened things, to? Yeah, yeah. yeah so but it's all right because you know if, if it's got a catchy rhythm behind it or something that's enjoyable yeah. to listen to, you'll still listen to it. And I think um, I, I personally think that music's a, a, a big part of people's memories as well, whether it's you playing yourself. Yeah. Or, or as, as a listener, obviously I don't play music myself, but um, as a listener, I think most things that I look back on through my life, music reminds me of certain, like first dance when I got married to my wife. Um, certain music was playing when oh, certain yeah. things happened to you know so i think yeah. it is a massive impact everything i think we were chatting before about music and stuff and um you know i think music yeah there's a certain amount of nostalgia attached to it isn't there uh, as far as memories are concerned yeah i mean you know i, I was just listening to uh some kind of you know motown music on the way over here and i love that i love it it's like my favorite music is 50s music i think it's just amazing yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I just it, it, you know there's 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 so many different emotions that can be conveyed through it, uh, so many different styles, and not one thing is right over the other. At the end of the day, it's an art form. You can appreciate the entirety of it. So it's it's just it's just great. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so what's next for Joe? You know what what's next? Ooh, well, I'll see where the wind takes me. But um, really, what my what my plan is. Um, what I really, the, the area I really want to go down is live performance. That's, that's kind of what I, what I, what I want to do. Um, and uh, just meeting and collaborating with more musicians. I mean, I still want to be a solo artist, but for me to eventually have kind of a drummer and a bassist and maybe someone on the keys that I can really, you know, like we just click and it's just like, yeah. great. That's kind of where I'd like to go down. You know, have yeah. a band that can be behind me, yeah. gig, and just kind of, yeah, just really be able to express uh, myself for who I am and, and, and enjoy doing it along the way. Yeah, definitely. Excellent. Um, so today you're going to be playing us two songs. Um, yeah. um, we've asked you to sort of play something that you've wrote yourself and mm -hmm. the cover. So do you want to go into uh, them two for us now? So shall we start off with the cover that you're going to be playing for us? So sort of what is mm -hmm. it, the reason why you chose it? Um, yeah, it's called Hold Back the River by James Bay. Uh, the reason I chose it is just because someone the other day said that, uh, well, they had to listen to my voice on uh, on SoundCloud and thought that this would be a good song for me to sing. I listened to it and I was like, that, you know, that is something that uh, I think I could do. So, and I also, it's a nice song. It's a really nice song. It's very easy, uh, very, uh, you know, it's pretty chill, but it, it, it's, it's got a good feel to it. So, yeah. Excellent. And uh, what about the covers? You know, what inspired you with the song? What's it called? You know, are you, are you the original? Uh, sorry, the original. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's called "Never Find Out" uh, by myself, of course. Um, inspiration for that? Well, I mean, <laughs> a lot of it is from a place of imagination. Some of it's real, but I don't want to give too much away. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just me yeah. expressing myself who I am. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I wrote it on the piano actually. So I'm going to be playing it on guitar today. Oh. It was written on the piano about three years ago. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Excellent. Um, I think uh, that's it for for the interview side of things. Um, okay. uh, give us two seconds and we'll uh, have a listen to the music and hope you enjoy, guys. This is a song by James Bay called "Hold Back the River." I hope you enjoy it. Close to me, 
her life cut in between Try to square not being there But think that I should have been Hold back the river, let me look in your eyes Hold back the river so I can stop for a minute and see where you hide Hold back the river, hold back Upon a different line, we rode our bike into the sky. Now we go against the tide, those distant lights are flashing by. in your eyes, hold back the river so I could stop for a minute and be by your side, hold back the river, hold back, hold back the river, let me look in your eyes, hold back the river so I could stop for a minute and see where you hide. Uh, I'm Joe Bateman. Uh, this is my uh, song, uh, Never Find Out, so I hope you like it. When I think of all the times I spent around you, my lonely thoughts come to get back to us. They thought they knew it You took an empty heart Gave it hope But left it used How could you be so cruelly friend when you Saw the pain I was going through And if I never find out How your life played out you do just fine I'll be praying that you would find Find your perfect guy At the perfect time If I never find out
So now I'll take the broken pieces of a broken heart And I'll remind myself next time to be on guard Cause when I think of you, you leave me feeling scarred I think it's time for me to leave this stranded ship Disembark today's episode if you'd like to get in the hot seat and uh, play a few of your songs or whatever that was the time to drop us a message and uh, we should catch you sometime soon also we're looking for your guys to send in your videos uh, so we can play on our channel get, you know get you guys some more exposure so uh, don't mess about drop us a line catch you soon <laughs>